Hello, uh, in this video we're going to demonstrate a new product that we've just released. It's the CTrader Classic uh, Relative Strength Index Strategy. So this strategy is based on the RSI indicator. Uh, for people that don't or know or aren't aware of this indicator, it's a very, very good indicator for um, identifying when an instrument or a symbol has been overbought or oversold. Okay, It has two lines on the indicator, normally a 70 and a 30. And when the RSI line goes above the 70, it means it's overbought. And when it goes below the 30, it's oversold. These levels can be modified, okay? Um, if you're not aware of our website, you can access it, you can find us at ClickAlgo, which is just clickalgo.com. Um, we've got a lot of uh, classic trading strategies under classic automated trading strategies there. And this one, uh, this product page here, will actually tell you everything you need to know about this type of indicator, the formula that's used, and the kind of results that we got from it, okay? It'll also tell you in more details how to set it up. Um, this video is obviously going to give you all the information you need to run this robot yourself without having to um, refer to any manuals or anything. It's pretty straightforward. Um, we're offering a 15-day trial version, so you can have a play with it and see if it's something that you're looking for. Uh, we've, as, like I said, we've got a collection of the classic robots, so you can pick the one that suits you the most, the best. The best sorry. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do, oh, before I do continue to that, I'm just going to let you know that um, you can download the complete source code for this project. So you might want to add additional indicators, additional uh, risk management logic, and you can use it um, as like the building blocks towards your perfect trading robot. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do now is go to Cialgo. Now, when you download the uh, the uh, robot, which is a CBOT, you'll double click on it and it will install into CTrader and Cialgo. Um, when you open up the platform, so this is Cialgo here, you'll see the robot on the left hand side. So what you need to do then is add an instance. Okay, that's going to add an instance of the robot. You can have multiple instances, so you can have multiple symbols running at the same time. You can use this robot as an automated trading system. You, you can also use this robot as a signal generator. So for example, if for a signal generator, you could set the time frame to anything you want. And when the RSI, uh, when you're at the instrument that you're referring to is overbought or oversold, it will either send you an email with the full information about the RSI, the time frame, the symbol and everything. It will send you that email. So if you're not at your desk and you're somewhere else, um, it's part of your manual or your semi-automated trading style. And you can go back to your charts and you can actually see uh, what's happening with that instrument, okay? Um, you can also have a pop-up coming up on the screen because more than likely traders will be looking at different charts and they can't keep referring back to the um, symbol chart looking at the RSI all the time. So this will actually tell you straight away and you can have multiple um, alerts set up as well. So you can use it as a mixture of the two all together. You can have both alerts and uh, auto trading. Um, so I'll go through the parameters. So in this case, we're using the euro dollar, okay? We're set as default one hour time frame. You can select anything you want. We found with these default parameters, the one hour works the best. Uh, show registered user. If you select yes, it just tells you who the user is of this product. Um, activate auto trading. If you select no, it won't open up any positions. It will just send you emails or pop-up alerts. Um, instance name. You need a unique instance name if you're going to use the same symbol and the same time frame. So if you were to open up another instance, so to have two robot instances, like two robots, of the same symbol and the same time frame, they need to be a different instance name so they can be managed independently. Okay. Uh, you have your lot size. This is default into 0.1. Now stop loss and take profit. You can put anything you want for that. If you, if you put zero, it means that it won't close by a stop loss and it won't take profit by a take profit. If you leave this switch down here, which says close on reversal, it will close when there's a signal for a buy position. Um, and it will open, sorry, it will close a buy when there's a signal for a sell, and it will close a sell when there's a, a signal for a buy. I'll explain that in a minute. What I'm trying to say is as the RSI line goes above and below the upper, upper and lower thresholds, it opens and closes positions. And that's how this will work if you don't use a stop loss or take profit. And we found that gives pretty good results with a low drawdown. And I'll, I'll go through that when I do the demo. Um, you have trailing stop. If you select yes, what will happen is um, when you're gaining an X amount of pips, so say you had a, a long position open, a buy position, and it was gaining 20 pips, the stop loss will move five pips below the price. Every time you gain another five pips, it will move that stop loss another five pips up. So it keeps locking in your profit. If the price reverses, it will take out your stop loss, but you've locked in maximum profit, okay? It's a very good feature to add to a robot's risk management. 
then we have trading hours so this is also everything we have in this robot is very key for any kind of automated system trading hours makes a difference because it allows you to only trade during times when the technical indicators don't get affected by ie news releases uh, big banks making movements stuff like that okay um, all of these values can be optimized maybe not the trailing stop but definitely the trading hours and the uh, indicator parameters and i'll explain that later um, now rsi periods uh, this is the default value 14 we've just left it at 14. Um, now we've got upper and lower threshold um, what i'm going to do quickly is just put the indicator well first of all i'm going to show you how you'd add the indicator if you're not familiar with it you've got oscillators and you've got the relative strength index there you'd actually add it this way click ok and it will get added to the screen okay and you can select your levels there i'm just gonna not okay that because i pre-saved one already as a template because i like this background color so here you can see the levels i've selected as 60 and 40. the levels on the the levels you're showing on the chart should be the one showing on the indicator now you don't need the indicator on the chart for the robot to work but for cross-referencing it's useful so again if the rsi line if the rsi goes above 60 um, it'll open up a cell but i'll explain quickly now why this type of strategy is very different than what's being used on the market it's slightly just slightly different okay instead of um, opening a position when the um, say the rsi line drops below say the lower threshold it actually waits for a reversal so it waits for when the rsi line starts going back up again now by doing this it has more accurate entry and exit signals and i'll show you that when we do the demo um, so it's not just when it goes above the 60 or when it goes below the 40 it's when it reverses and starts rising again or reverses and starts falling again okay so it's slightly different but gives it um, much better entry points and it's little things like this that you do to your robots that help you reduce drawdown helps you reduce losses and helps you gain a net profit okay now again to explain the close on reversal and then send email and display a pop-up is straightforward um, you can decide whether you want that to, to happen or not your email address that you use uh, you need to configure we do have another video that you can watch that will tell you how to set up your email address you just go to preferences email settings there um, but on the video that we have will actually explain it in more detail so what i'm going to do now i'm actually going to back test this so i'm going to click on back test i'm going to apply the template and then i'm going to go one year back 25th of the second 2017 okay and i'm going to run that so again there's a video that explains optimization i don't personally believe in optimizing stop loss or take profit or trailing stops or anything like that i do believe in optimization of parameter indicator values um, things that will actually you know what type of indicator values fit a certain symbol or instrument okay that's very important and also trading hours optimizing what trading hours are the best so you could go back 10 years and you can work out your strategy at what hours did your strategy work best at what, you know during the day and that's very important as well so this is just run a quick back test you can see there's not much gray lines so there's very little drawdown if i go to trade stats it's 5.6 percent drawdown so at some point during that year uh, your equity was at risk 5.6 percent now that may have happened just in one hour and the rest of it might have been one percent but the worst case scenario that you were at risk of your capital was 5.6 percent so drawdown is very important now if i go to history and i'll pick one of these just to show you exit and entry points uh, which one shall i choose i'll choose that one i'll zoom in okay what i'm going to do is draw some lines at the entry and exit points okay so i want one there i'll duplicate oops didn't duplicate did it let me do that again oh i just switched to click okay when i and then the exit point was there okay so as you can see this is a good example of locking in the max the best entry point the entry point for this trade was perfect it actually occurred uh, not when the um rsi line dropped below the 40 line but when it was rising again okay and again the exit point um, locked in extra profit because it wasn't when it let me just draw one more line it wasn't there when it actually moved above the upper threshold it was actually when it reversed so if if you were to do the project so that um, the entry point would have been when it dropped below it would have dropped below there and it would have exited early there 
so you'd have got less profit a lot less profit when it moved above the 60 but um, for this algorithm here we're doing it so that when it drops back down again okay so when the price keeps rising but then it reverses so we've locked in trades and then what happens there with the close on reversal it will open up a buy now a sell now at that point and and uh, close the buy okay so if I click on the next one down you can see it opened the sell and close the buy now in this case open the sell there and if I bring that over to there go to this gray line and this one okay this is another good point you can see it actually locked in maximum the, the ex entry and exit points are pretty good it, obviously the entry points could have been better could have been higher but it exited there so these just small examples showing you okay there's another good good a good one there obviously you're going to get losses there's going to be losses you're going to have to take into account that it's all about probability and and which ones you're going to get you know getting more winners so that's just straightforward uh, results not optimized obviously you can um, improve these results just by you know modifying the parameters and doing more back testing and a bit of optimization um, I'm going to run it now just bring it up to the start of the year to get some results on that to see what that comes back at um, so again you can find you can run this on different symbols um, and if you look at the video that we're doing on optimization it will show you how to get the best upper and lower threshold for each um, symbol it doesn't actually use this, these parameters but it demonstrates it using a different indicator a different strategy I think it's the other one of the other robots moving average one um, but you can also find the best best values okay so that's come back at 18% um, drawdowns a bit higher okay and then what I'm going to do now is just do one more somewhere in the middle I don't know stick it there and see how it gets on that so I'm doing random back tests at different time frames um, if you were doing back random back tests at different time frames and it was coming back with really bad results this is something you wouldn't even run on demo okay uh, for these default parameters I probably would run on a demo account see how it gets on and then even consider uh, putting it on live if it was given pretty good results um, okay that's come back with 42 percent and straight and it's 3.69 percent drawdown so very low drawdown pretty good return um, I'm not saying this robot's going to make you rich all I'm saying is it's a good starter algorithm to build on or to use um, as part of your algorithmic trading strategy okay so what I'm going to do now is quickly just show you the trading stop so I'm going to add a trading stop with 15 pips uh, trigger and a 5 pip step now just to so just to because I've got no risk management for stop loss I'm going to leave the reverse close on reverse here so every time there's a buy or a sell but what it's going to try and do is maybe lock in my profits a bit better okay so instead of waiting until the price reverses and losing some of that profit I'm going to lock in the price as much as possible so far that's 42 percent I just want to see if there's a, a if it's better using a trailing stop see what I come back with with that 14 percent no it doesn't do better <clears throat> but it's worth trying um, but this is just a demonstration and it also shows you the trailing stop there that actually worked it moved the stop loss to plus 10 pips and if I go to any one of these you can see this actually moved the stop loss okay and click on another one there let's pick another one so there the stop loss 23.4 so this hasn't closed um, when the because obviously it's showing stop loss now it's actually got the stop loss there when we closed on the reversal there was no stop loss it just closed so I was just showing you how the stop loss works okay um, I think that's the, all I need to show you really if you're going to use this on different symbols um, look at the video on optimization to get the best um, upper and lower thresholds maybe periods as well because we've only just stuck with one period um, the idea is over the date range of the instrument you're using from the in this case it goes right back to 2000 and I think 11 see if you're getting fairly good results out of the whole date range just with fresh data not optimizing it just running it it's fine to optimize the indicator parameters but don't actually fit your robot to, to the data um, and that's something you want to do for different instruments until you get an instrument that gives you very very good returns and then maybe you want to start running that to see what the returns are going to be okay all right if you like this video give me a thumbs up at the bottom because it makes a big difference on um, on well on Google really it makes makes me more noticed that'd be great thank you very much